Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for March the 24th. Today, in 1601, Elizabeth I died in Richmond Palace. She was 69 years old and had ruled for 44 years. Sir Robert Carey was the grandson of Mary Boleyn, and so a cousin of Elizabeth, and he wrote of Elizabeth's last days. He writes, On Wednesday, the 23rd of March, she grew speechless. That afternoon, by signs, she called for her counsel, and by putting her hand to her head, when the king so Scots was named to succeed her, they all knew he was the man she desired should reign after her. About six at night, she made signs for the Archbishop Whitgift and her chaplains to come to her, at which time I went in with them and sat upon my knees, full of tears to see that heavy sight. Her majesty lay upon her back with one hand in the bed and the other without. The bishop kneeled down by her and examined her first of her faith, and so punctually answered all his several questions by lifting up her eyes and holding up her hand, as it was a comfort to all the beholders. Then the good man told her plainly what she was and what she was to come to, and though she had long been a great queen here upon earth, yet shortly she was to yield an account of her stewardship to the king of kings. After this he began to pray, and all that were by did answer him. As he continued long in prayer, till the old man's knees were weary, he blessed her and meant to rise and leave her. The queen made a sign with her hand. My sister's group, knowing her meeting, told the bishop the queen desired he would pray still. He did so for a long half hour more with earnest cries to God for her soul's health, which he uttered with that fervency of spirit, as the queen to all our sight much rejoiced thereat, and gave testimony to us all of her Christian and comfortable end. By this time it grew late, and everyone departed, all but the women that attended her. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.